if you're looking at the the seed, the A's, even early B's, security is not typically a high point for them. And I fully agree with that. It makes sense, right? What's the point in securing something if you don't have a customer or a product yet? So if you don't have an absolute, you know, you've got your go-to-market product ready and sort of V1 ready to deploy and you don't have a customer base, spending money on security seems almost wasteful. The key issue here is balancing the architecture and design of what you're building so that you can put the security effectively just turning security on, not bolting it on later, but turning it on when it's going to start costing you some money and resource when the time is right. There are certain things that you absolutely have to do from the start, you know, your basic hygiene, good uh, user identity management, uh, managing your code repository, looking for vulnerabilities, et cetera. But some of the more costly features that you end up seeing within products and around products, I think is something that needs to be brought in in stages at the appropriate stage. I'm encouraged in today's industry to see that a lot of companies are taking it very seriously from the beginning. And I think that's attributed to a generational movement, if you will. The younger programmer of 10 years ago are now starting their own company. And in doing so, they've been taught and they've seen the effects of what a good security program does and what a bad security program can do as well. So they're bringing that to their product as they come in and saying, hey, I know I need to have, it. I know I need to do a stock too. You know, maybe I don't need to be compliant immediately, but I need to at least start with the basics and, and build into my, my process, the rigor and discipline needed as we develop. So that's the encouragement.